also had to go on the journey of saying yes to the process. I would say the process is people's least favorite part of living with the Lord. It's the really normal part where you are renewing your mind and you are wrestling with the Lord and you're finding out the truth about who he is and the truth about who you are. I'm going to tell you guys a story. Um, did I talk about how I was really suicidal for years of my life? But that would make sense, right? Because I was a mess. So I think maybe around seven, I started thinking I want to die. And I thought it maybe hundreds of times a day. I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. Anything that happened to me, I thought, I want to die. So I go to church camp, and I have this wild experience. I'm like screaming, ah! and people are praying, and I either had an emotional deliverance or the other kind, <laughs> one or the other. And it was this amazing, I mean, it was like two hours, and it was this crazy experience. And I came back home, and I felt that same feeling. I, I want to die. And I was like, wait, I know I had like this suddenly encounter, this amazing encounter. Why did it not work? And I went and I met with my pastor. And my pastor said, you have to change the habit. The stronghold was broken, but you have to change the habit. Okay, so this is what happens. Your brain has this thing called ruts, okay? And what happens is you think a certain way over and over again, and it creates a rut. So I want you to think of, pretend that there is this high of snow up on stage all around me, okay? So a rut would look like someone has plowed a, a, a row so I can walk from here to here. Does that make sense so far? So I had a rut in my mind that was anything that happened in my life, I thought I want to die, and it took me on this path here. In order to create a new rut, I'm going to have to trudge through five feet of snow, which is really hard, and there's lots of resistance, and it's hard. And then I start back over, and it's way more easy to go this way. And I have to trudge through five feet of snow. But do you know that the more you change your path, the more you wear that path down, the easier it gets until one day it's easier to go on the new path. So this is what happened. This is how I did it. It went, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. I started by just saying no. So it'd be like, I want to die. No. Abundant life. And then something else would happen. I want to die. I'd naturally go down this path. I'd say no. And then I would come back and I'd go to abundant life. Okay? So, I, and I don't even feel it. Let me just tell you, I did not feel the no. I just knew I had to say it. So it would be, I want to die. No. And then eventually I could say, no, I don't. I mean, that was like a whole new level of breakthrough. Just say, adding those few words. No, I don't. And then it became, I want to die. No, I don't. I want to live. And then it became, I want to die. No, I don't. I want to live. And then it became a thought that I heard and it passed by and no part of me thought it was mine until I never heard it again. Now, how long did that process take? That was four years of me changing my, that was four years of me creating a brain rut. That was four years of me saying, oh, this path is the easiest. Oh, nope, it's not the easiest. I want to go to abundant life. I'm going to choose abundant life. Until all of a sudden, my pathway to abundant life was as easy as my pathway to wanting to die. This is the process of renewing our minds. Mm -hmm.